for 30 years, I have looked north and seen the magnificent and beautiful San Gabriel Mountains. They are de a defining feature for the entire LA region. Rising high above the hustle and bustle of city life below, they serve as a crown for the angel, the city of angels. It's no surprise then that the San Gabriels attract a lot of visitors, from hikers to off-highway vehicle users, parents taking their kids to enjoy a picnic by the river, and competitive cyclists, fishermen and campers. What many people don't realize, however, is just how much strain this region is uh, to keep up with the growing demand for outdoor space and recreational opportunities. The Los Angeles area is one of the most park poor regions of the country. We face two challenges as a result. There are few options for Angelinos to enjoy the outdoors, and the options that we do have are under immense stress from overuse. Nowhere is this more apparent than in the San Gabriel Mountains, with over three million visitors a year, where there is graffiti and overflowing trash, safety hazards, few visitor facilities, and even fewer visitor services. I'm honored to be here amongst everyone who has helped to contribute to this effort. This legislation, as you know, represents a real collaboration across several levels of government and across so many communities that are represented here today. And the work has spanned almost a decade, starting back in 2003, when this first got underway. We came together as a community then because we knew the value of protecting the San Gabriel Mountains and the river corridors that we knew were in desperate need of more resources and protection to keep them clean and thriving. We also took action because many of our disadvantaged communities suffered from lack of park space and green open space. And I'm proud that together we built a diverse coalition to tackle these environmental and social inequalities head on so that future generations living here in the San Gabriel Valley could enjoy what I recall seeing as a child growing up, the beauty and majesty of the great mountain range and the surrounding environment and creeks and watershed. And I think about my father, Raul Solis, who took his young children, seven of us, we couldn't go to the beach, we couldn't go to Yosemite. Guess where we would go? We'd go right here to the San Gabriel Mountains, to the creeks. a great, great number of communities throughout the San Gabriel Valley and L.A. County. So I, I'm a strong supporter. I initially carried the legislation to establish the foundation for the bill back in 2003 and before that helped to create the River Mountain Conservancy through state legislation. So this is a natural progression to see now that we can hopefully get the federal government to also weigh in and provide more assistance, financial assistance, to help protect the open space, protect these recreational areas that are treasures out here. Well, I think what they were saying earlier about, you know, some people, it's hard to get to the beach and to other places like Yosemite, and these are right here, so uh, with it being accessible, having like the water and the mountains, It'll, it'll be good to get people out of their houses to nature a little bit. Increasing access to nature uh, for everybody, not just people who have cars. Yeah. Um, uh, other groups like Bike San Gabriel Valley, which I'm a part of.